what's going on today youtube today we'll be taking a look at the all-star cards not all of the attributes have been revealed as i'm recording this video it is not noon yet so this content is not out so the only attributes that have been revealed are the ones that they revealed on twitter so we'll be making our best assumption of what cards that you should take from each division you should be able to unlock two from each division as a total of 12 if the program works like it has for the future of the franchise program and for the faces of the franchise program so let's go ahead and get into that video but before we do i just want to let you guys know if we can get 100 likes in this video it's absolutely free to just smash that like button we will open up a 50 pack bundle and put that video here on youtube as well as open it live over on our twitch channel twitch.tv slash american blood so hit that like button smash it i don't normally open up packs but if you guys can hit those goals we'll continue to open up those packs first up is the national league so in the first part we have joe joe mantiply david bedner dansby swanson carlos rodon and sandy alcantara now on this one i would assume sandy alcantara has got to be a must pick especially with an outlier on a sinker after that maybe we take the bullpen arm and david bedner or we take Dansby Swanson. I think Dansby Swanson is that second choice, if not the first choice. Dansby Swanson and Sandy Alcantara are my choices from this division. Next division, we got Bryce Harper, Juan Soto, Wilson Contreras, Luis Castillo. Now, I know you guys can't see it because my webcam is in the way, but Corbin Burns. Now, Corbin Burns' live series is still on our starting roster today, so he's already a guaranteed pick for us will be Corbin Burns. Second pick is up in the air, but I'd probably have to go with Bryce Harper or Juan Soto. I think any of these guys can be really good. Now, Wilson Contreras, if he has good contact from both sides, I really think that he could be a viable choice as well at catcher. But they also, we also have another catcher already. So we're pretty good at catchers so far. So I don't really think they're going to go that route. So my choices on this one would be Corbin Burns and Juan Soto. And for our last division in the National League, we got Paul Goldsmith, CJ Crone, Tony Gosselin, Manny Machado, and Edwin Diaz. Now, Edwin Diaz could be good out of the bullpen. We definitely need some more bullpen arms. So he could be a very liable source or an option to go to. But my main two guys I would probably take out of this. Now, I would say if you don't have a first baseman, Paul Goldsmith is a, a, a guy or CJ Crone. Otherwise, Manny Machado and Edwin Diaz are the guys I would be taking out of this division. Now, let's switch it up. Let's go to American League real quick. Now, in the American League, First division, we got Shohei Otani, Paul Blackburn, Julio Rodriguez, Martin Perez, and J.D. Martinez. Now, we've already seen Julio's uh, attributes. Now, his contact on one side or so is not the greatest, but I still think he's a viable option for center field, strictly for his fielding alone and his speed. He's got amazing speed. He can steal the bases. So Julio Rodriguez is uh, one of my top choices. After that, I probably go Shohei Otani or Martin Perez. J.D. is just too slow especially in the outfield. I don't really like him. He's probably not going to make it a starting. And Paul Blackburn, I don't know. I have to see his mix, but I think Shohei is the better pitcher. Martin Perez as well. Martin Perez could actually be a really good pitcher, so I have to see his attributes and see if I want Shohei or Martin Perez. Obviously, with the bat, we probably want to uh, go towards Shohei because he can hit as well. And if he's really good at the pitching, that could be a viable choice. But my choice is there. Definitely Julio Rodriguez, I think, is number one choice. Unless you absolutely don't want him or you already have a center fielder, then maybe you go two pitchers here and Shohei Otani and Martin Perez. If I were going to choose someone else and I did not choose Julio, I would choose Shohei and Martin Perez. But if I want to pick at least one hitter out of this, it'd be Julio Rodriguez. And then pitcher-wise, make your choice. All right, second division, we got Shane McClanahan, Luis Arias, Andrew Benatendi, Aaron Judge, and Justin Verlander. Now, I think Justin Verlander will be absolutely gross. Um, So he's an option if you need a pitcher. Luis Arias is probably not going to have enough power to be viable. Now, if they get, somehow just give this card like 75 power, 70 plus power on this card, I think, from both sides somehow. If somehow they just boost his power. I think this card can be really, really good. Otherwise, Aaron Aaron Judge, um, don't really like tall players too much, especially hitting wise. You can just like go inside with them. It's really hard to turn on the ball. But Aaron Judge's swing does seem a lot better this year, so it could be a thing. But Justin Verlander would definitely go, and probably Aaron Judge, maybe Luis Arias, depending on what you need. Definitely Justin Verlander in this division. Next division, we got Gregory Soto. Jorge Lopez, Alejandro Kirk, Andres Jimenez, and Tim Anderson. Now, this is a really good one. I definitely say Gregory Soto, simply because we need bullpen arms. So even if he's not the greatest, I think he's going to be better than 
somebody or some lefty in your bullpen or at least some righty he's better than so maybe now you have four lefties and four righties i think gregory soto is a must choose from this division after that um jorge lopez maybe probably not um alejandro kirk maybe probably not we saw him we saw his attributes andres jimenez i would say tim anderson and gregor soto are probably your main guys but if you need another bullpen arm jorge lopez could be your guy there and then there's one last picture i want to show you guys and it's and if you guys stayed here it's a treat it is the collection reward for collecting 44 all-stars or home run derby cards so they'll be releasing all-star cards uh after the all-star game and then home run derby cards after a home run derby plus these all-star cards right here so the collection reward this year is second base jackie robinson so if you earn 44 of those cards you collect them you can unlock 99 overall jackie robinson and those are all of the all-star cards being released in the program today there'll be new home run derby cards tonight and then all-star game content and cards tomorrow for like the all-star game mvp stuff like that and then we have jackie robinson as the collection reward but anyways hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did enjoy this video please leave a like subscribe if you're new and turn those post notifications on so you guys don't miss out on any videos and i'll see you guys in the next one